This morning I'm meeting up with Dr. Brad Norman, who's the head researcher at Eek Ocean. And they're doing some groundbreaking research. G'day, love. How's it going? It's Hi, so good Mindy, to see you. Hi, Mindy. How are you going? Good to I would, see you. I would hug you, but we're separated by a boat, so I'm going to jump across jump with across. you. Jump across. Thank you, honey. Have a seat it's over so there. Good to good see you. Welcome aboard. I am unbelievably excited for our adventure. It's going to be a great day. Let's get out of there. Let's do it. Whale sharks are an endangered species, and there's so little known about them. So the work that I do and my team is all about trying to help with their long-term conservation. Well, this tagging today is going to be a first. It's going to be a chance to track an animal for 24 hours, to work out its movements over that period of time, but at the same time, to see its behavior. Is it diving deep? Is it coming to the surface? Is it feeding? We've got a lot of work to do today. We're going to have all our equipment ready, but our first job is to find it. We've got the spotter plane going, so let's go. It might take five minutes to find a whale shark. It might take five hours. But as soon as we get to see one, we need you to jump in the water and take a photo. All you've got to do is take a photo of the area behind the gills. But this area behind there has got enough variation to identify that animal, like your fingerprint. Just let it swim past you and okay. tick, 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 tick. We use that beautiful pattern to identify individual animals and then determine whether those same animals are, are recited again or, in fact, how many of those animals are out there in the wild. Well, it's official. We have a whale shark. So I'm going to get my camera and I am so stoked I'm about to jump in the water with the largest fish on the planet. This is crazy. This is the most beautiful experience. First, I see this giant mouth followed by a huge body. kicking with everything I've got, just trying to keep a steady pace with this whale shark. It's proving to be a bit of a challenge. He is just so fast. He just swam right past me. If I don't get these ID photographs, then the research work won't be able to continue on. I've been swimming with this whale shark for over half an hour now, but I still haven't gotten the ID photo that I need. It's really important that she keeps up with the shark and that she gets that photograph side on because the orientation of the spot pattern photo, it's, it's really important for identification purposes. When you watch a whale shark, it almost looks like they're moving in slow motion, but because they are such big animals, just a small flick of that tail speeds them along, that it's requiring a whole lot of energy to keep up. I finally got the photograph and I am so happy. Maybe that. Maybe I'll see how it goes. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got to do that. That was unbelievable. I think um I was probably top ten coolest things I've ever done in my entire life. I can't believe how they're so chilled. Like he was just cruising through the water. Didn't even care that I was there. And then he was impressive. Like he was absolutely so much bigger than I ever could have imagined. And the grace and power within them is extraordinary. I can totally see now why dad said it's a spiritual experience. Well, see, this is a perfect shot of the whale shark that you took. We've cropped the area of importance and then we've run the scan. 
Today's photograph has been compared against thousands of other photos. And today's shark is an absolutely new shark to the Photo ID library. Oh my goodness. And it's a good size. And oh, so that's amazing. I think actually it is a perfect shark to do our tagging. That just made my whole day as if it could get any better. We've got the ability um, to give him a nickname and given you were the first one to see this shark, what do you reckon? I would be honoured. To tell you the truth, this all came about because of how much my dad loved the whale sharks. So would it be OK if we gave this guy the nickname of Steve? Absolutely. Oh, I would I love that. that's a great idea. That would be really special. Right. Thank right. you. A1699 is now alternatively known as Steve. All right, let's tag Steve. Now we know what shark it is, it's time to put a tag on the animal. I am so excited. This beautiful whale shark is now a huge part of this research program. He has a number, he has a name. Now we just need to get a tracking device onto Steve. I've still got a visual on your whale shark. Directly ahead, over. You better go and do it. All right, let's do let's this. These tracking devices are extremely advanced. They're able to capture the whale shark's movements, how far underwater it's diving. It's extraordinary and world-class science. The tricky bit about tagging a whale shark is its sheer size. They can spend a long time away from the surface. They can dive down to thousands of metres. So it's important to get in there, get close to the animal, put the tag on quickly, and then get away quickly as well. It's actually not all that easy. These tracking devices are perfectly designed for the whale sharks. They sit on them kind of like a hair clip. Now, whale sharks have the toughest skin of any animal and will hardly be felt by the whale sharks. Steve has got his tag on. What will this data show us? Well, we're going to, my team's out there, it's tracking him for the next 24 hours. Yep. We're going to be able to work out what the animal's doing when it's away from human's eyes, how deep he's been swimming, how much he's been feeding. All of that information as we analyse it will be really important to help with their conservation. Well, thank you so much for letting me be involved. Couldn't be without you. Thank you again so no much. Crikey, that was amazing. Click here to watch more clips. Click here to see more from Animal Planet. And for full episodes of your favourite shows, click here to go to Animal Planet Go.